we are going to look at the records of stock or the documents that are used in the stores. There are very many documents, so we are going to look at them one by one. So the first one is the materials requisition note. Requisition comes from the word request. So it's something like a materials request note. So this is an authorization to the storekeeper to issue raw materials. It's normally signed by the authorized personnel of the user department. Maybe if someone from the accounting department wants to get something from the store, the manager of the accounting department has to first sign that document to authorize the issue of those raw materials. Then that person is supposed to take it to the storekeeper and the storekeeper is supposed to give that person the materials. So this like this is an authorization to the storekeeper to issue raw materials. That is a material requisition note or a request note. Another document we have is the stock record or the ledger card or the bin card. So this one records the materials that have been received and issued, like what is coming in and what is going out. It has three columns like the stock purchases, which is the receipts, then the stock issues, and then the stock balance. That is the stock record or the ledger card or the bin card. It shows what has been received, what has been issued, and then the balance. Another document we have is the material return note. So this document permits unused materials to be returned to the store. It contains the details of the materials that have been returned, then the reasons as to why they have returned the materials, then the job to which it was originally related, and it must be signed. Like it should show why are you returning them, like what is the reason, how much are you returning, and what was it supposed to do in the first place then that material return note must be signed. So it is just a document that permits unused materials to be returned to the store. Another document we have is the material transfer note. So this one permits the transfer of materials from one location to another or from one job to another in case one job is having excess but another job has less. So it permits the transfer of materials from one location to another or from one job or from one activity or from one project to another. For example, if the accounting department has materials in excess, then the marketing department is lacking those materials. So that document permits the accounting department to transfer those materials to the marketing department. Or if one branch in Imbale has more materials than they need, and then one branch in Imbarara has less materials. So that document permits the transfer of those materials from the Mbale branch to the Mbarara branch. So, yeah, so that's the material transfer note. It permits the transfer of materials from one location to another or from one activity to another. It contains the details of the transferred materials and then the job numbers that are involved. Another document we have is a scrap note. This one records the scrap or the damages the damaged materials that has been generated during the operations and then production, then it also allows the exchange of the scrap for good materials from the store to the user department. In case they were using something and then it got spoiled, it becomes scrap. So this scrap note shows what has been damaged during operations or during production, then it also allows the exchange of what was damaged for the good materials from the store to the user department. Another document we have is the shortage note. This one is issued by the storekeeper to the user section specifying that the materials needed are not enough or available in case the marketing department wants some materials from the store but then those materials are not available at the moment. 
the storekeeper is supposed to issue that shortage note to the marketing department and notify them that the materials that they need are not available at the moment. Then the last document is the bill of materials. And this is a master requisition that is given to the storekeeper listing all the materials that are required for a particular job in case there is a project going on. So that bill of materials lists all the materials that are needed to carry out that project. That is the bill of materials. It is a master requisition given to the storekeeper listing all the materials that are required for a particular job to be done. So those are the documents that are used in the stores. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends. We are still continuing with topic 2, cost and management accounting. Let's catch up in my next video.